Lily and the Purple Socks by Lise Bechtold. Sally couldn't wait to try on her new purple socks. That says dry clean only. But they were too small. Then she saw a note. Once removed from the box, these socks will grow to the size ordered. Oops, said Sally. Did I tell them my size? But after some airing, the purple socks fit perfectly. Sally danced in them. She cleaned house in them. She relaxed in her lovely purple socks until... How odd, said Sally. Now my socks are too big, but they are so soft. So... Sally wore her purple scarf and cap while she gardened. But when she came in, oh dear, quacked Sally. Still, they are so cozy. By lunchtime, Sally grumbled, this really ruffles my feathers, but they are so warm. Sally napped under her warm purple blankets. When she woke up, now this has got to stop, quacked Sally. Sally spent the rest of the day moving furniture. That night, she was so tired, she slept on her luxurious purple carpet. Early the next morning, Sally awoke to honking horns. My socks, she cried. Your socks are blocking traffic, hollered the neighbors. So Sally hauled her socks into the backyard and invited all her neighbors to a circus and everyone came. when suddenly it began to rain. It rained and rained and rained until Sally's lovely, soft, cozy, warm, luxurious purple socks fit perfectly again just in time for the first snow. Sally and the Purple Socks by Lise Bechtold.